This is breaking news. DLNT will out Britain's Got Talent flops who proved the judges wrong, including Strictly icons and chart-topping pop legend worth £5 million. One global megastar didn't even make it past the producers. It's the show that's brought us some of the biggest names in entertainment, from Diversity to George Sampson and Putsy the Dog. But many of the most famous stars from Britain's Got Talent not only didn't win, but didn't even come close. Simon Cowell and his fellow judges didn't see the potential in people who've gone on to become more rich and famous than any of the winners. Britain's Got Talent will be returning to ITV for its 17th series tonight, with Simon joined by Amanda Holden, Alesha Dixon, and Bruno Tonioli, along with hosts Ant and December. As the panel gets set to look for their winner, we look at some of the show's rejects who ended up becoming megastars without the show's backing. He's now a global superstar worth £5 million, thanks to both of his albums topping the charts and going platinum around the world, plus a hit Netflix documentary, How I'm Feeling Now. But before the fame, when he was trying to find his footing in the music industry, Louis Capaldi, 27, auditioned for Britain's Got Talent, but was ghosted. In a Heart Breakfast interview with Amanda Holden in 2019, he told her, I did go on Britain's Got Talent, Amanda. I went on Britain's Got Talent and I went to the auditions and I went up and I sang White Blank Page by Mumford and Sons. And then I got a phone call saying, Lewis, that was great. We're going to put you through and we're going to try and hurry it through. Then I never received another phone call again. Realizing the mistake the producers had made, a stunned Amanda exclaimed, OMG, we turned down Lewis Capaldi. Can you imagine? Today, Lewis has seven UK number ones to his name and has found success across the pond with his hit single Someone You Loved, which topped the US charts. Paige Turley is now known for winning the first ever winter edition of Love Island, alongside her now ex Finn Tap. But before coming a reality darling, she had hopes of becoming a pop star and auditioned for Britain's Got Talent in 2012, like her ex Louis Capaldi. Paige, 26, impressed the judges and soared to the semi-final before she was booted off. Determined to find fame, she sent in an audition for Love Island and ended up winning the show with Finn, who she dated for three years until they split last year. Paige signed a record deal in 2020, although she hasn't managed to top the charts just yet. But she's one of the most successful influencers to come out of the ITV dating show with 1.5 million followers on Instagram and countless brand endorsements. She was most recently seen on Celebrity X on the beach, getting back together with Finn briefly before splitting once more. In 2009, age 16, Megan McKenna's dream of becoming a pop star led her to Britain's Got Talent as part of the duo, Harmony, alongside her friend Demi. Although the pair wowed the judges with their performance, they didn't make it past the semifinals. These days, Megan, 31, has become a superstar in the world of reality TV and has been on The Only Way is Essex, X on the Beach, and Celebrity Big Brother. In 2017, she even had her own reality show, There's Something About Megan, and even won The X Factor. Celebrity in 2019, proving Simon wrong. Looking back on her time on Britain's Got Talent in a 2019 interview, she agreed she was not ready for the big time. She told Loose Women, We were young, I was 16, and we didn't actually think we were going to get as far as we did, but we got through to the semifinals. I think getting that taste of being in the TV industry and singing live and stuff was like, I just want this so bad, but it's taken me so long, it's so difficult. But Megan hasn't given up her pop star ambitions. She's released a string of singles, has even topped the iTunes chart, and performed at Glastonbury in 2022. Also in 2022, Megan, who's worth £3.2 million, was a runner-up on Celebrity Masterchef, going on to release best-selling cookbook, Can You Make That Gluten-Free? In 2015, Sheku Kenan Mason captured the hearts of the nation when he auditioned for Britain's Bot Talent alongside his musical siblings. They made it to the semi-finals and played a classical rendition of pop songs before they were booted off. The 25-year-old Celis had an epic bounce back, however, and was crowned 2016's BBC Young Musician of the Year, becoming the first black musician to get the honor. He also received a ton of attention when he performed at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal wedding in 2018. Sheku's string of good fortune continued in 2020 when he was appointed member of the Order of the British Empire for his services to music. And last year, Sheku was the instrumental soloist at the last night of the proms, performing alongside soprano Lise Davidson and conducted by Marin Alsop.